Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Tony Luce. This is Charles Babb. With Network Optics today, we're going to talk to you guys about bookmarks, which is a new feature in version 2.5. So, Charles, what what is a bookmark? What is a bookmark? Like in real life. In real life? Yeah. It is usually a piece of paper you put into a book or something or to mark a page so you can always go back to it. Or a passage you remember, or just because you have to start up from there, like you're almost done with your book, you have to put a book. Do you ever there. use bookmarks in school? I use them all the time. Really? Yeah. Do you use those little tags that you put on there that are like different uh, colors? Like girls had them. Like really wow! Nice wow! Really? You know yes. What I'm about? Yes. Like colorful yes. ones. Yes, I did. I did in college. You know, write on them and yeah, everything. I didn't. All right. Okay. But bookmarks are pretty much in bookmarks and index witness are pretty much the same thing as in real life. It's a way for you to tag specific sets of video. And you can either do that uh, manually uh, or automatically via system events and rules. Yes. So what we're going to show you first is a manual bookmark that uh, we created today. Yes. Uh, and I'll show you how to create it again, uh, just to be clear. It was all by accident. It was all by accident. Some crazy stuff went down in the office. So first thing you want to do is pull up the camera. You want to get bookmarks on. Uh, you can see we've already got some bookmarks that have been generated here. Um, and that's the one that we wanted to show you today. But basically, um, some things happened earlier today in my office, which we're going to share right now, which is that I was talking to Charles and I wasn't really paying attention. And there's a part of my desk that's unsupported, um, which I'm about to sit on right now. And then I kind of uh, broke my desk. Bow. <laughs> and you can see break desk just came up which is our bookmark that we created earlier how we created that bookmark is basically you go here you select the period of time uh, let's remove that bookmark yeah let's remove it to begin with I'll show you how to do it again so you go here you select the period of time that you want to highlight or show um, which in this case is right around here right there so from 1309 to let's clear that selection sorry Mark selection start, and we'll give it a good 10 seconds or so to, for me to wallow in my embarrassment. And we'll go ahead and mark that and say add bookmark. When you add bookmark, you get prompted for a name. So gravity sucks would be a good name, and then a description. Um, Tony Tony destroys desk. All right. Um, for tags, we'll put desk in there, put Tony, broke, gravity, funny. For later on, we'll remember that yeah. and press OK. Now you can see a bookmark has been created. Um, if I go to the actual bookmark, um, gravity sucks, it shows right here. And, and then I can edit it and stuff like that later on. And we're going to be adding more functions into bookmarks later on, like sharing. Right, sharing a link via email, being able to embed it potentially, things like that. So that's a manual bookmark creation. Uh -huh. And oh, just just for fun, yeah, you can see here's me breaking the desk, and then and then for for lots of fun, um, we can actually go to the specific time period in more of a kind of multi-camera view, so you guys can get a really good laugh as Charles reacts uh, to me breaking my desk. Right, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Which is pretty sweet. Here's Tony talking. So here I am talking. Yep. And shortly I will move. And break my Ah, greatness. My reactions. Let awesome. me know if you guys want this like an export as an executable. You can all yes. show it to people. Yes. All right. So that is bookmarks manual creation. Uh, the mm -hmm. other way to create a bookmark is by automatic. So you can see right now I've already actually set up one. If I go to camera rules. Yes. Um, then I've got on motion camera, a fish eye in the sky, um, create a bookmark, and then target that camera. And then here's the details of it. Um, I have a fixed duration of eight seconds for the bookmark, pre record three seconds before the bookmark happens. Right? So if we're watching live video, then Charles is going to demonstrate, he's going to walk over by the door. You can see I have a motion region on this camera right by the door. When it's triggered, motion on fish eye in the sky shows up and a bookmark has been created. So you can see the bookmark there. Let me go back to live. See there right there, created, right? To search bookmarks, you press Control B and you can launch a list of all the bookmarks in the system and then you can go search for, for example, if I just wanna show gravity, I can show the gravity sucks one. When you double click on a bookmark after you search, it will open it up and show you break a desk or something like that, whatever you decided to record. Um, that's how you use bookmarks. 
Um, it's a super useful feature. Um, combine it with third-party systems like uh, video analytics where you're sending us a generic event or access control systems or fire systems or basically anything mm -hmm. uses a DI or some sort of generic, generic event. Thing. And you can see how it becomes very useful very fast. Now, bookmarks um, will still be overwritten. Um, if your recording settings are set up to overwrite them, they don't stay forever. Um, so if you want to save a bookmark, go ahead and save it out of the system, export it like you normally do that for, for critical video. Um, but it will remain as long as the recorded video also remains for that clip. All right? I think that's it. Any questions? I don't have any questions about bookmarks. All right, so that's really bookmark, simple. guys. Check it out in 2.5.